Yosef was called to combat, one can only imagine the concern of his family and his friends. Towards that end, his mother decided to try to organize a siyum, learning, as a schos for his safety and the safety of all those people in Klai Yisro who need Yeshua's. Additionally, his mother participated in an initiative where women throughout the entire country created boxes of baked goods and nash and snacks to send to the soldiers who are on the front so that at least they'll have good wishes and a taste of home. One night, in the middle of the night, a truck full of those boxes that had been prepared by the people back on the home front arrives at one of the army camps. A bunch of the soldiers go, they take off a box or two, they put them inside of one of the tents, and the truck drives off into the darkness of the night. Later that night, Yosef takes one of those boxes, he takes his flashlight and he shines his flashlight on it, and his heart nearly stops. On top of the box it says, as a schus, as a merit, for Yosef Doiv ben Rinat Rachel, his own name. He opens up the box and there's a note that says, here are baked goods and here are snacks. This is all part of the seam that was done in the schus for the safety of him, Yosef Doiv ben Rinat Rachel. And in it were his mother's own cookies. What are the chances of something like that happening? Not very high. And that moment was just a little tiny flash of lightning in somewhat of a dark life, in a challenging life of many of the soldiers. As if to say, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I know it's difficult times, but Ima Anechi B'Tzara, I'm with you, and I'm going to share with you just a moment of radiance, just a moment of illumination. Here are two more flashes of lightning that I personally was part of. This past Monday night, we did an event in New York City for many wonderful young Jewish men and women. Two separate women came over to us and shared something mind-boggling. As part of the evening, we prepared lanyards with name tags so that people could know who one another were. Behind the lanyard, behind the name tags, facing inside of the person, we put a little tiny card with the name of one of the people who was kidnapped. Two women came over to us. One came over to us visibly shaken. He says, how did you know? He says, how do you know what? How do you know that the name that you put in my identity tag is the one person of the kidnapped that I know, that I have a personal connection to. And then a second, a young lady came over to us and she said to us, this is incredible, this is amazing. Almost since the beginning of the terrible stuff that went down in Eretz Yisrael, I accepted on myself to daven for one name. This is the name that I've been davening for. And I got her card. Another flash of lightning. As if the Rabbi Shalom was saying, I'm here, I got you, keep strong. And Ritz Hashem, you're going to make it to the end. Yeah.